Hey everyone, uh, this is Bungor here, and today I'm going to do a guide slash commentary on Tristana. Um, this is a 5v5 ranked game. Um, uh, like I said, with Tristana, it's going to be a semi guide and also uh, kind of a commentary slash I'm just going to talk because I don't think I can fill an entire video with uh, information on Tristana. So, um, But basically what I did for this video is I sped everything up really fast, except for the exciting parts where I'm killing people and there's a lot of action going on. So it's going to be some stop and go, and I tried to get through the entire game in the um, allotted amount of time that I have to to make these videos. So, um, basically for Tristana, her abilities, her Q ability gives her increased attack speed. Uh, her double W ability, Rocket Jump, um, allows her to jump over some terrain or at just a small distance on the map. Uh, makes her really strong because she can jump, and if she gets an assist or a kill, um, her cooldown is reset on that, so she can jump in, finish off an enemy, and then jump away. Um, her E ability is called explosive shot and basically anytime you kill an enemy um, minion or champion or any kind of neutral creep um, it does explosive damage in a targeted AOE around that creep that you killed or enemy that you killed so it's good for farming it's good for even harassing the enemy champion sometimes when they're trying to last shot um, and then the active ability on that is you shoot it at an enemy champion and it does damage over time and also reduces their healing effects so lifesteal or anything like that so it makes Tristana a really strong late game um, and a strong against anyone who's running uh, like a bloodthirster or lifesteal ability so um, her ultimate ability her R skill um, I can't even think of the name it's like cannonball or something uh, she basically launches a cannonball at a targeted enemy champion and it knocks them back um, and it can also knock back more than one if they're in really close proximity to the targeted enemy champion. Um, that's a good skill for um, anyone who's chasing you. You can launch them away, um, a Katarina all, anything kind of like that. Or if you're just trying to finish off a champion, you can jump in there with Rocket Jump, ultimate them, and then uh, pick up the kill and jump away with Rocket Jump also. So, uh, super effective. Trisana's really strong late game. Um, she is probably, in my opinion, one of the strongest late game uh, AD carries just because of her, her Q ability gives her so much attack speed and damage output. And right here you'll see me picking up a double kill. Uh, a lot of help, good help from uh, Tarek. Uh, rocket jump, if you land on the enemy it slows them right there so you can see MF. Uh, Misfortune was not able to run away from me and I just finished her off. So. Uh, Basically with Tristana, um, for runes I run uh, magic pen reds, uh, armor yellows, magic resist blues, and then attack damage um, quintessences. So uh, pretty fairly standard for an AD setup there. Um, for masteries 2109, if you don't know what that is, kind of let me know and I can tell you all the specifics, but basically getting all the um, typical AD carry uh, stuff for masteries in there. Um, and then finally for items, I normally get Adorans uh, to start off if I'm landing with a support. Um, and then Berserker Greaves, Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, and then possibly a Bloodthirster. And then I kind of go from there based on what the enemy team comp is. Um, I always like the um, frozen mallet pretty well just because it gives you that slow and a lot of survivability for late game so really effective there um, and basically with Tristana or with any AD carry for that matter what you want to do is during the laning phase you want to focus on farming and last hitting those creeps as much as possible um, and this one I had a big advantage uh, because um, I had a good Tarek on my team. They did not have a support, which was uh, definitely a mistake on their part. And I think this guy in our bottom lane just kind of was testing out Talon on the... I think this might have been the first day he had been released. And he was... I know he was streaming, actually, because we were talking about that before the game started. And then I went and checked it out afterwards, because he was pretty terrible. But anyway, it was kind of cool that he was streaming anyway in our game. So, uh... 
so I had to stick it to him. But anyway, um, like I was saying, start out with Doran's, then Berserker Greaves, um, Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, uh, Bloodthirster probably uh, for that life steal, and then you just kind of get defensive items um, based on their enemy team comp. So, and that makes Tristana really strong. Um, and as you can see here, I'm using that explosive blast passive to farm them down or to farm creeps and harass at the same time. <coughs> And then whenever I get someone low, like right here, I'm going to jump on him, try to finish him off. And honestly, I have no idea how he did not die from my ultimate. I'm pretty sure uh, he must have exhausted me at the exact right time to keep me from dealing just enough damage to kill him. So that was unfortunate. A lot of times I kind of like to um, finish people off by shooting that ultimate at them and making sure that they're going to die and just knocking them away. But sometimes if you don't know the damage exactly right, you, uh, you can mess it up and uh, save them, actually. So, And in that circumstance, it's possibly what I did. Uh, but I didn't expect that exhaust at that moment. So that was unfortunate, but no problems there. Um, and so, yeah, what I'm going to keep doing is uh, I'm going to keep farming. And like I said, I have it sped up here, so... Uh, it's not like <clears throat> wasting your all time. You can kind of tell what's going on. I'm just farming these creep waves up. Um, Tarek's basically standing in the brush protecting me. Anytime someone's going to run up and try to engage, um, he's going to stun them. So. And I'm going to walk away, hopefully, with no problems. And here I'm going to farm this creep wave down. A lot of times... Um, what you will see is uh, instead of harassing enemies, especially um, during the laning phase, if they push minions to your tower, you want to farm those creeps as much as possible and not harass the enemy, not worry about the enemy champion, especially if you have a good support that can keep you alive. Um, <clears throat> and that's one of the big things about having a good support. Uh, Misfortune's down here bottom trying to, she's having to fight with Talon for the CS, and that's really not a good thing. Um, because it's going to leave them both under farmed, whereas I'm just basically free farming while Tarek is standing there and harassing them whenever he can and just kind of standing in the bush and protecting me. So, super useful. Um, but right there, you went and saw us pick up Dragon. Um, Brand out of position. Our Udu is getting pretty fed. Uh, pick up that kill on Brand. I'm going to jump on on uh, them and try to deal some extra damage, maybe pick up another kill. Not going to be able to, but I'm going to go back here and finish farming up these cre this creep wave. Um, and as you can see, I've started building that um, Infinity Edge. Um, all right there, um, he's going to pick up that kill, uh, and we're going to push this tower down, so pretty cool. Um, I think right now I'm going to go back, get that blood, th yeah, right there, uh, pick up the, uh, wow, the BF sword. <laughs> Sorry about that. Having a little uh, brain fart there today. Um, and now I'm going to go back to lane and continue farming. <coughs> and that's one of the big things about carries is just getting that farm, uh, just that creep score way above everyone else in the game. It's going to make you super strong and people don't really understand how effective that is. Almost most of the time more effective than killing assuming your team is not feeding miserably um, a lot of times late game playing a champion like Tristana you're able to carry your team um, even if your team is not doing well in this circumstance is not the case our team's doing pretty well uh, I'm doing really well bottom I'm getting pretty fed and I'm also getting farmed and basically just free farming this bottom lane so I'm gonna continue pushing down here uh, push this next wave of creeps. Probably be maybe do some roaming um, since I don't know. No, I guess I am gonna be. I do have enough for that infinity edge now. So now I'm gonna start hitting really hard, um, and everything is gonna be really strong. And I know there's some fighting about to take place in the relative future, uh, near future here. Uh, Zillion pushing this lane. I think he had mid. I actually ignored him before the game started because. I don't remember why he was being really annoying in Champion Select, and I didn't want to deal with it, and I knew I'd be mad. And uh, like I said in my uh, Improving Your Game um, video that I did, uh, one of the big things about this game is just to not get frustrated with your teammates. No matter what happens, uh, it's really important and to keep your cool. 
Uh, and right here, Udyr's going to engage on Brand. Uh, I jump in, but Udyr, like I said, he's really strong right now. Going to keep going, keep chasing. There's the slow. I'm going to finish off MF. Um, here, Talon's using his ultimate. I was on the turret, uh, but he just doesn't deal a lot of damage. Uh, an exhaust there. Going to deal as much damage as I can to him. Still have that ultimate up. Um, just going to be really strong now, so... Uh, now I'm gonna be uh, try to start on that uh, Phantom Dancer building. Yeah, try to get the zeal as early as possible. The extra movement speed, attack speed, and critical chance. Um, really strong on Tristana with her Q ability gives her that massive attack speed. <coughs> Heading back towards middle. Um, yeah, it's about to get really heavy. Lots of uh, action going on mid. Um, just kind of waiting for that good initiation. Here, standing in the brush. Um, Brand walks up there. Uh, good ward placement by them. Uh, definitely didn't realize they had a ward in that brush. Uh, Brand ultimate deals a lot of damage. I'm going to jump in here. A good zillion. Flash goes by. Ults me. Saves my life. Uh, it was probably a bad engage on my, my, uh, from me. Sorry. Yeah, a bad engage from me. But it ended up working out for the best. Um, got another kill on MF. A really nice ult from zillion. Zillion did a pretty good job. Uh, even though... He was not being very cool at the beginning of the game, so... Um, and like I said, Fed Udyr, not something you want to deal with. Um, just able to tower dive all day long and pretty much deal as much damage as he wants to. So, And now we're going to go pick up this dragon. Um, Udyr was jungling, so uh, he does have that smite as w well as a Riggle's Lantern. Going to make him really strong. Now I'm going to go back bot, push this lane, farm as much as possible. MF is down here, alting the creep wave down. Um, and now we're going to skip ahead a little bit. Um, I did run out of room just a tiny bit, so now it's just the action for you guys since I'm done talking about Tristana, basically. And now see, she's so strong. Um, here, overextending um, Pantheon, um, getting chased by Singe, uh, nice speed up by Zillion. I'm going to come in here, deal a bunch of damage, jump on him to get that slow, and he is just not able to run away. Um, and there's that just shows you some of the burst damage from Tristana. Um, she just she deals a ton of damage when you start getting farmed with her and is not un, definitely not unkillable, but uh, just really lots of damage if she can get fed and farmed and just um, just stay alive during team fights. So. Right there, we're going to pick up Baron and just watch this. Brand overextended. Uh, I'm going to jump on him and just deal tons of damage. Shoot him away uh, so he doesn't kill me. And then finish him off with one more auto attack. Um, and right there, even without my team, 1v1 Brand, even though he has more burst than almost any AP champion in the game, probably. Um, because I am so farmed and just deal so much damage at this point in the game. And now I have my Bloodthirster... Uh, Phantom Dancer and Infinity Edge. Or, sorry, I don't have my Bloodthirster yet. I'm trying to build my Bloodthirster. Uh, but I am really strong at this point. Um, and here we are. Back another fight here. Zillion getting chased. He pops his ultimate. Tries to get away. Uh, and then a lot of damage going down in middle. Um, just continuous fighting. Uh, just sitting on the turret trying not to get killed. Uh, Zillion does go down. Um, and a two on, I think I was three. I'm not really f for sure entirely. I'm going to farm this way back down. That wasn't one of our better fights. But here, um, people getting caught by um, Udyr in the middle. Just going to get taken down really fast. So, uh, and here we are. Uh, this is the very end of the game right here. We're pushing into their base. We're going to push this tower down um, and then grab this inhib if possible. I am pretty sure we will get it. Uh, this is towards, like I said, towards the end of the game. We get that inhib. Uh, are we going to have a fight here? I don't know. Uh, yes, we will have an engage. I push the inhib down. Uh, Udyr dealing a lot of damage. Going to jump onto MF, finish her off, uh, and just deal as much burst damage. Singed also going to drop down right there. Uh, he really has no chance. Uh, there's not a whole lot he can do. And uh, this is the very end of the video. I just want to show you guys the uh, burst damage from Tristana here. It's crazy how much damage she can deal. Um, we are pushing down on the Nexus. Um, so I'm going to go and attack Warwick while he's standing on this, uh, standing in his base here. Uh, and I'm just going to blow him away um, while he's just standing there healing up uh, from the stairs. So... 
nothing he can really do. Uh, that's going to be it, guys, for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and have a good day, guys.